drinking beer with Matt and Howard. All right, everybody, so welcome cool. to a newest episode of Max and Howard Drink Beer. I am Max. And I am Howard. Howard, we got Sam with us again. She is hanging out. She has Halloween candy. Tis the season. You know, uh, it is Sam's birthday month, so we are celebrating. Yeah, even though my birthday month is not October, you know, we just we just adopt it. Wait we a love, minute. We love to stay in the... What month is this? October? Fuck. Oh. oh. Wow. That's actually a pretty good segue. Uh, that's sad. Howard, yeah. we're going to talk today. We're going to do some fun things. I got a story for you that you haven't heard yet. Okay. About fun-filled work. We're going to talk about the late, great Norm MacDonald yeah. and all the things that he means to all of us, Yeah. which is more as we go around the room. Yeah. But we're drinking beer because that's what we do here. We drink beer, right, Sadie? Right, Sadie. That's right. Well, I'm I'm drinking a Zoa. Well, so I got I'm double fisting here, but oh. this is not this is not the beer we're talking about today. But I am drinking a Escanaba Black Beer from Upper Hand. Um, oh yeah, this is from the UP. Um, we tried out Upper Hand a couple times now from my sister who lives up there. That is from Mr. Uh, Bradley Cooper. So Bradley Cooper himself. Yep. I just watched him in A Team. I was yeah. just gonna say, like, oh, the Bradley Cooper, is there like a random awesome guy in movie. town also named we, Bradley Cooper? I was oh, I was laughing hysterically with that movie because I watched the extended cut. Oh, that's the best one. <laughs> where they bring the old guys in. Yeah. So like yeah. His, so like his face is walking into the tanning booth. The original <laughs> face is standing there like, thanks for the tan. And it's like, yes! <laughs> you know, it's so funny because they were all so mad because they were like, oh, it's just a blink and you miss it fucking thing. And it's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I get where you're coming from, but God, that was so, it was such a good movie. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those movies where you have to like put your phone down. And that's why people didn't like it. It was too much for its time and so unappreciated i I love the movie i love it especially because you know the weird dynamics you got to see yes. rampage jackson doing his thing r.i.p wait did he die or the other guy died i think it was the other guy there's no way oh he wasn't the the bearded dude he was the oh okay that was yeah. that was a uh, chimbo splice yes okay that, we're gonna keep it at that it was kimbo but oh Okay. But, um, so yeah, I'm drinking anyways, all the way back around the, uh, upper hands, uh, Escanaba black beer, which is a smooth roasty black ale. I like ales, especially when they're black, like my soul. Yes. You know, so, uh, every article of clothing you're wearing right now. No, my shoes are red. You have oh, red shoes. Well. My microphone's red. You're right. Oh, your yeah. Van Halen shirt has a little bit of rainbow accessory on. I'm it. right. That's that's Diamond Dave right there. Okay. All right. I'm about as observant as the day is short. I'm not very observant. How short is the day? Not. It's short enough to be very observant. The day is so short; it's only three letters long. That's true. Holy shit! <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot going on over here. I'll tell you what. Max has got the upper hand. I've got a wild mind. We're drinking uh, this uh, beer that I uh, nicked. It's a nicked. It's a wow. Full on princess. Is this the Zoas making my mind weird? (laughs) (laughs) Is it making my mind wild? I see what you did there. Uh, We got a Forbidden Am Rude. It's an American wild ale. It's got uh, guava, grapefruit, which is very, it's very sour, and mint, which I, I like mint in beer. Is you know, it minty? Just, not really. Okay, well, we'll but, see. But, you know, it's like basil because it's the same thing. Basil and mint are basically the same. <laughs> they are from the same plant family, yeah. They look the see, same. I knew I was onto something. Everybody thought I was crazy over there I, at the I, Red I, I don't know. I just but now we can see your nuts. That. That's true. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Little Mike Myers joke for yeah. you there. So, yeah. Have you tried the uh, Wild Mind yet? I'm, I'm doing all sorts of stuff here. I'm, I'm dancing. I'm yeah. singing. I'm feeding the dog. I mean... Oh, I'm I'm excited for Sam to try it. Well, see, you, gotta, you do the, the little smell yeah. test. Yep, smell test. Now the cool thing about these beers, all four of these beers that we had on the show were corked, so we needed Sam's corkscrew. And uh, I don't drink a lot of wine, and Sam was making fun of me. Yeah, well, and it's not hard to use a corkscrew. 
Yeah, it but is. you definitely didn't make it look easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to explain to Howard how to properly work the corkscrew. Right. Yeah, that's true. Sam spread. I see. I Sam see said it. spread the ladies, and then it made sense. So yeah. 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 There's that. It so, was the closing the ladies' legs that were the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Absolutely. So Sam, what do you think? It's not that it's bad. Right. It's that it's grapefruit. Is is it grapefruit? Yeah, there is. Grapefruit. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, no, I am not a fan. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's, yeah, now that you say that, yeah. I can I can taste it. Yeah. You can see the look on her face to say that there's something mm-hmm. I don't like about it, yeah. and it's grapefruit. Wait a minute. It's, I thought I, you liked grapefruit. I do not. Why did you get the line and Google spritzins then? I didn't. I thought you. I thought that's where you got them. I didn't get lining Kugel spritzins. There's lining Kugel spritzins. Yeah, that was that was like fourteen hundred beers ago. Yeah, for real. I did not. Those I, were I at steer the away old from house. anything, anything grapefruit because I just. I had, I had no idea. Hmm. Okay. So, I, so Howard, what's with this beer? Where's it from? What are they doing with it? So this is we we've had a couple of these, like I said. Um, you know they're the corkscrewed, uh, you know, wild ales. Wild ales are sour. We've we've said that on this program a couple of times. Um, yeah, it was just something cool on the discount rack, and I figured we'd give it a shot. And you know, it's something we never did before. And I mean, so wild ales—they're they're all sour. That's like cheating, right? Sour beer is cheating, and it's it's funny because uh, I was I was soured out for a little while. Yeah, there, you know. And How can to, you possibly get soured out? I, I'm telling you, you know, he's crazy. a sour puss. And you know, you're you're trying only sour beers because, dude, everybody's making them now. You know, and you're you're just trying them to just ah, oh, let's get it over with. I would ah, oh, smoothie sour, bleh, you know, like the beer that you're drinking now was such a breath uh, breath of fresh air, breath of fresh air, because right. it, it's it's a beer flavored beer. Yeah. You know, no, what, I was actually just thinking about that. We need to take some of these wild ales and these sours and get Steve back over here. Because Steve yeah. does not like the taste of beer because it tastes like beer. Right. So here you have these sour beers. Maybe that's his cup of tea. I would be interested to. Because that's kind of how everybody things. is. You know, you've been peer pressured into drinking beer because it's beer. And, you know, you think about it when you started, you didn't like it and you drank it and then you didn't like it and then you didn't like it. And well, then you started to like it. You know, you've just been conditioned to drink beer. Right. You really think about it. Yes, absolutely. You know, and, and and you'll talk with people, you know, Steve, my sister, you know, is the same way who, you know, does not like beer because, oh, well, it tastes like beer. Well, yeah, the hops and, you know, the barley that, you know, make beer fantastic. Once you learn to appreciate the taste, you know, that's what it is. You know, so I'd be interested. Maybe we got to get Steve over here and we got to get him to try one of these. Yeah, that'd these be sours to see what he thinks. Besides, we need that sound bit clip of him saying it tastes like beer. What's he doing now? I don't know. No. I'm sure he's doing something working. somewhere. Probably working. You can't, yeah. I can't keep track of him. I mean, it's not my job. I don't get paid enough. And that's the thing. Like, the market is saturated, and there are all these smoothie sours, and they're not bad until you had, like, 50 of them. You know, and it's the same thing. Oh, double-fruited sour. How much percentage is it? five percent alcohol not worth it yeah that's the thing like well, i want to get fucking drunk well i was t- i was telling you that one that i had earlier this week you know um the the gm that i work with at work mm-hmm. um he got restructured out of the company yes was the way that they phrased it so it was a very depressing week for all of us all right yes so i went through and decided i'm gonna clean out the beer fridge and the only way you can properly clean out a beer fridge, which is by drinking the beer. Yeah, that's so right. So let's get rid of the stuff that, you know, we're clearly not pushing through so we can make space for stuff that we want. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's time those, to cycle uh, this. Summer summer uh, cookout, you know, beverages right. that no one drank. That's not a bad idea. We should think about that. that yeah, it's gone. He did it already. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I did it this week. I drank a bunch of those... Those those bomb pop Seagrams, yeah, I drink those. A couple Coronas. Uh, I think there's one Corona left out of all the Coronas. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the fridge looks barren. 
in my opinion. There's a few of those, uh, what were they? They were Brazilian lagers. Yeah. I got maybe like five of those left, a few Heineken. I mean, the PBR, which is the backup for anybody yep. who yep. wants a beer, we're down to like 10. I mean, like... You look at the fridge and it's like, hey, it was empty ish. We need to clean this out so that we can get some good beer in here. We do have a like a surplus of like weird IPAs that yes. could not, you know, end yes. up good. And I've been trying to drink those, but at the same time, it's Oktoberfest season. Right. This is like it's pump- the best season of the this year. This is like pumpkin spice. We for want beer lovers. we yeah. want the Marsdens bring on all of the Oktoberfest. Yeah. It is I know I know it's one of my favorite beers to drink. Yeah, if you're of, a lager guy. Of of any of any of those, you know, if I if I could drink Oktoberfest all year round, I would throw I would swear off my lagers and drink the Oktoberfest because that Marzen's got that little bit extra. Yeah. So well, good. You know, that it, you know, that's what's missing. So I went through that. Um, but I had the founders. Um it was a grapefruit goza. Yeah. Oh my God, we do not have nearly enough of those. I almost grabbed one before I grabbed this upper hand and went, I already drank two of them. I feel like the other two aren't mine. Yeah. And you know what? I was going to say Sam should have one, but I forgot you don't like grapefruit. Nope. Oh, it, it was excellent. Yeah, and definitely share those. I've had a couple of those already. I will I will do my best. I will force at least one on Morgan whenever yeah, he, he shows he might, up. He yeah. might like that. That's a good one. You know, so... Speaking of everything that's been going on this week, I got a fantastic story to tell you. Yeah. First so, time here on air. So Howard has actually never heard the story, so all Thank all, you. all reactions are live, real, and in person. <laughs> Sam's heard it probably two thousand times already because I keep telling it to everybody, and she's I'm always sorry. here. Oh so, man. So so I have I, I mean, have I live here, so I can't. You get know from it. I have <laughs> been struggling to find staff like everybody else right now. Okay. So, um, one of my employees, her <laughs> boyfriend, oh, this one, yes, okay. her boyfriend oh. was, they, they got kicked out of their place. Sure. He needs to work. Okay. Yeah. Now I met this guy. He gave the, the dainty hand, broken wrist handshake, you know, oh. that was just, just, just garbage. Yeah. You know, one so, of those. So was- it starts out. All right. I'm not hiring him. Okay. Okay. And now he's a significant other of somebody else. I'm not hiring him. Okay. Take a seat. Yeah. I really badly need, you know, really badly need people. Right. So he asked me, he told me the situation. All right, dude. You know, I'm a bleeding heart, so I'll help you out. Yeah. You know what? Bleeding heart, right? Yep. Go so on. I get him in, and it's just, okay, I, I, I feel every aspect of it of just. God, I'm not. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret hiring this guy. This is gonna be a terrible idea, you know. So, anyways, I get him in first day. Uh, he worked fantastically. Really? It was actually. It was actually. I was blown away by the aspect of everything that he accomplished. Even with a limp handshake. With with that, um, I I was surprised. Okay. You know, to start off with that, but we came back around. Okay, the next day was Friday. So uh-huh. the second day of work was Friday. Him and his girlfriend don't show up. Oh, boy. Okay, so now they are two people. I have two people working a shift, and none of my shift shows up. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, so where the hell are they? So I call her, and I call him. Yep. I get no response. Oh, boy. Okay, I finally he finally calls me back, I mean, four-plus hours later, after he is supposed to have started. Uh-huh. You know, you know, so just just every aspect of this is great. What the fuck, dude? I literally just hired you on. I spent a whole fucking day to get you into the system and you're you're fucking me here. Right. So he calls me and tells me the whole sob story about how he has a restraining order on her last night because I've been driving her ass around to get her to and from work, and she don't give me any gas money yet. She wanted two hundred dollars from me, so I pushed her. Oh, wait, wait, wait! And they like number one, they live together, and number two, they work together. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is where so, it gets interesting. So, to me. so every aspect of this. So, so um, you know, he's telling me this story about. Okay, here's this. You know, we got into an argument, and I pushed her. Oh, okay. 
That's that's bad first and foremost. Okay. Now, yeah. to give you an idea on the size of these people, okay, okay, um, the girl is kind of built like Sam. Okay. She's a very strong lady. Sure, you know, capable of things that most women are not. Oh yes, you okay. know, definitely can put anybody in their place. Um, the guy is a very dainty man. With um, a dainty handshake. Yes. Um. Forrest is a much taller stature Holy of a man shit. than him. I mean, he is a tiny, dain- yeah. I When I say dainty, I don't mean it as an insult. I mean it the best to describe him. You know, maybe buck ten, you know, five foot three. And Forrest is a pretty twig-like uh, character. So. Uh, Forrest, in my opinion, is wiry. Yes, wiry. You know? That's a good way to put it, yeah. You know, um, Forrest, you're wiry. This, this guy is definitely just a... He he exists, okay. So yeah. I ended up finding out later that um, they got into an argument. They were arguing, screaming. The police got called from their situation, from where they were, yep, where they were staying because they got evicted from their place. Mm-hmm. Um, and and there's all extra interesting parts of that. Um, but he pushed her. Mm-hmm. So she came back and she grabbed him by the throat mm, and yeah. had him pinned to the wall <laughs> with his feet off the ground, up in the air, two-handed strangling him I when like the police p- pulled her off of him. Nice. Yeah. So it's like, well, wait a minute. Some guys pay extra for that, by the way. Uh, right. Okay. Some guys pay extra for that. <laughs> so he's all pissed off because, you know, now he lost his place to live. Now he's losing his job because he filed a restraining order against her. Wow. Yeah. Well, hey. Which, okay, yeah, I guess if somebody's strangling you. Now, I'm a terrible person because I was laughing the whole time I'm hearing this story about how you just got choked out by no. your girlfriend. You know, number one, you pushed first. That's like Greedo shot first. Right. You know, so, hey, self-defense, man. Like, then again, you know, somebody gets in kind of your business, whether they're dainty or not. What do you do? Your first reaction is, who the fuck do you think you are? Right. And I'm more of a, you know, uh, I'm bark is worse than my bite kind of guy. So I'm going to say exactly that. Right. You know, who the fuck do you think you are? You You know, know, uh, clearly that's not the case for her. (laughs) So uh, we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to wrap up the story for you, but we're going to take a quick commercial break first because, you know, we have all that and that fun and all that fun stuff. All that fun and all that fun and all that fun. Oh, all right. Man. So, so there, there was that. That happened. That was the thing. I had the track muted, so we got confused again, like we always do. But uh, I don't know if you heard Morgan's here. So Sam has drifted off and she's keeping morgan occupied while we wrap up here perfect but uh so this guy had to get back where it was you know he pushed her first she choked him out the police came and got it is she into legos guys do you know i can ask if you want me to ask no no let's cross that bridge when we get there I I, i will ask okay um you know so every aspect of it he calls me up um freaking out about every aspect of you know, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I need this job, you know, but she had it first. And I said, well, that's true. Okay. You didn't finish filling out your stuff. Oh, oh no. To finish the job so I can pay you for the two days Yeah, that you put in. But uh-huh. you did not finish, pay, you know, finish what you were supposed to do. Oh, boy. Okay. She has been my employee for five months now, I think. Right. Okay. She's missed one day, and the one day she missed was because he did not bring her to work. So the the whole breakdown of it is just like, you know, dude, I'm cool with everybody from that aspect of you work for me, okay? All right. Go ahead and deal with your shit, but it's not, it doesn't exist when you come to work, and you know that. That was what it was when we, when we worked together, okay? Yeah. You're here to work. 
Okay. All your drama, keep that where Check that it is. Check out the door. Yeah. Check you it know, out the door. You're right. here to work. I don't care about it. I don't, you know, if you need a day to handle your shit, say, hey, I need a day to handle my shit. Handle your shit, but come back without it. Yeah. And then, but yeah. You know, so, so just every aspect of it, you know, she's having all sorts of fun. I've, I've heard, um, it, it makes it more entertaining because her brother is the supervisor of the oh. department. Oh, that's really fun. So, and he is the oldest brother, which means he is the keeper of everybody. So what does he say? Uh, good for you. I'll just sit back and watch. He, he asked her, are you done now? <laughs> you know, because that's apparently awesome. he never liked the guy and everything. And, you know, we, we talked in, in for about a 35, 40 minutes previously about that before I brought him in to be like, Hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is why I'm going to do it. You know, because we need people and everything, but I need you to understand, you know, I need you to be professional with it. And I understand the issues that you have. And we discussed about how it was going to be a bad idea. And I knew it was going to be a bad idea, you know, in no way, shape or form would I ever have dealt with it before. But, uh, you know, first for everything, this, that's kind of fun. This just, just every aspect of it, you know, and this was all within a week. This, this was all from the last two days. Wow. Holy this is crap. this is two days worth of drama. That's a whole podcast worth of drama. Like two days. This the, not even the rest of the week. Fuck those first three days of the week. That's why this was just this. So that's why that was this. I had to tell you it because I thought it was just really, really you know, I, I was telling everybody yesterday. I was laughing at work all day mm-hmm. because it was the I'm in such disbelief of the shit show that I'm standing in. Yeah. That you can't do anything but laugh. That is worse than any fucking country drama I've ever heard in my life. So, so Jerry, Jerry, yeah. Jerry. So, so that's what it was. Um, personally, I would have loved to have seen it. I would have loved to have watched her choke him out. Little popcorn. Oh yeah. Um, oh, it got yeah. better because then Carl, Carl decided to start calling her Baby D. Baby D. From the Friday movies. I never saw those. So all of the Friday movies, they have all this stuff, and there's a, you know, there's a person that they put out a restraining order on his supposed baby mama called Baby D. Baby D. And it was just like, and he just started, and the more and more I see it, the more I realize that Ice Cube is just right in all of, everything that's going on right now at the mall yeah i'm the token white guy there yeah that sounds about right yeah you're you know with the jew fro you're adam carolla basically I, thank you that <laughs> everybody everybody there thinks i look like seth rogan uh so does that make me james franco i uh, like that most days like of the that week vibe. yes so like that vibe. except so, with all like the rapey stuff you could not that's not that's not my style oh yeah more or less rapey right like that's because you don't have legs Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, so, next week? Next they're, week. They're still going to... What, what's what's next? They're still working uh, there, right? He never filled out the stuff. I told him, if you have a restraining order on her, she is my employee. Oh, that's rough. Bad times. Well, what, who do you want me to side with? You want me to side with the family that works for me? Because hey, that's two employees. Okay, so if I don't side with her, you're going to have to work for her brother. Hey, listen. How's that going to work for you? No, no, that's the way that shakes out. Yeah. You know, the, just the paperwork alone, that's the tiebreaker. You didn't finish your paperwork, that's how we're going to do this. Sorry about your luck. You couldn't get it together before you filled out the paperwork? Now I don't have to choose sides. You did it for me. <laughs> right. Well, that's kind of nice. That right. works out good. Je- definitely... Definitely dealt with that. I mean, and we're having all sorts of fun there like everybody else. But that was so, definitely a absolutely have to share this work story with you because I'm just in pure disbelief that really this is what my life has become. So now that makes me Jerry Springer, right? Jerry, Jerry. Does that make me the fucking bald guy on the TV? What's his name? Uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah, I'm Steve in many senses. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that as we, as we talk about, you know, 
TV shows. We got to pay our tribute to the late, great Norm MacDonald. I got to tell you, I'm really broken up because it's the same thing like Keith Richards. As a young kid, I discovered Norm MacDonald. It was when the roasts were starting to kind of get hot on Comedy Central. And they're all telling their stupid ass jokes. And they're just quote unquote roasting people. They're just saying a lot of mean shit and swearing a lot. And there's fucking Norm MacDonald sitting there. He's got a newspaper. And nobody's paying him any mind. And every, every time somebody says something to him. He kind of folds the newspaper down a little bit. And goes right back into the newspaper. Yeah. It's the funniest goddamn thing i ever seen in my life. And then somebody finally says something to him, and he says, and they say to Norm MacDonald, watching you is like watching Henry Fonda pick blueberries. And without missing a beat, he says, I don't think there's anybody in this room that wouldn't love to watch Henry Fonda pick blueberries. <laughs> and it's just, that that was right when, like, the YouTube thing was big. Yeah. So you'd get this fucking rabbit hole of Norm MacDonald being Norm MacDonald things. And what always made me laugh is when he'd go on Dennis Miller's show. You know, at the time I was a big Dennis Miller fan, and all he'd talk about is fucking cocks. <laughs> and that's why I say cock to this day. It's because of Norm MacDonald. Norm made me embrace my weird. Embrace the crazy. You know, and it helped me get that quick wet and... You know, yeah, everything norm. Well, you know, like so, so obviously you hear me all the time. Um, my first introduction to Norm Macdonald was as a kid in Billy Madison, <laughs> which was one of his drunk friends at the beginning. And what does he say? What's today? October. I don't know. October. Yeah. Howard, I got married in the month of October <laughs> so that I can say it. Okay. Yeah. You know, to think of the profoundness, I mean, how many times do you hear me say that in a day? October? You know, yeah. it is It is just a non, I don't have to think about it, here it is, go fire, you know. Um, but then I saw some of it, you know, all the Weekend Update stuff that he did, which has had a lot of great people through the years. God, the Weekend Update. But his Weekend Update felt like, come on, can we have this as actual news? Yeah, just... Biting sarcasm all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, Dirty Work, I never saw it. Believe it or not, that's the one I keep forgetting about. Uh, I'm going to have to watch it. it. It was him and Artie Lang. Which is kind of like me and you, kind of. Yeah. With all the, you know, cocaine problem and the gambling and um, right. horse skin <laughs> Yeah, right. Of. You know, but but I mean, every aspect, it just you, you put them in there. Um, I, was, I was talking with everybody and, you know... Um, in the younger years, before I was aware, I thought a bunch of comedians that were making fun of you to laugh at them was what was funny. Right. As I became woke, as the generation calls it. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm woke. I realized that your Steve Carell's, your Will Ferrell's, you know, your Jim Carrey's, their, you know, their odd ducks that are just... You know, well, I'm going to trip over this chair to make you laugh. Right. You know, well, what would you get out of it? Well, did you laugh? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. You know, when you think about it now, two of those three I don't partake in. Jim Carrey, I still enjoy that. That guy, in my opinion, is still a treasure because of, you know, he becomes... You know, when he was the Grinch, he was the Grinch. I guess that's true. You know, in every aspect, when he becomes it, even though he's Jim Carrey, he is, you know, he be, he becomes that, he's like a, he's a method actor comedian. That yeah, makes I, sense. I can, I can understand the Jim Carrey thing. I never really liked him either. He was good in, I think, uh, The Mask. That's pretty much all he made me laugh. But yeah, dude, Steve Carell, I never got The Office. Never did, um, well, anything that he did. I can't think of, and I hate Will Ferrell. Yes. But it's funny, because you kind of put it that way, and, you know, Chris Farley tripped, tripped over how many chairs? That makes me I, fucking laugh. So, it's funny you say that, and we'll get back around to why I brought this up. But, um, I saw a video that got posted of, you know, in Black Sheep, where Chris Farley tumbles down the hill? Yeah. 
So I saw one the other day that had it posted as, how does my work day go? And it's arriving at work when he's at the top of the hill and rolls all the way down. And, you know, when he caught himself and stood back up, like, whoa, that was bad. It's just lunch. <laughs> and then and then he keeps going back down the hill. And when he catches the plant, it says coffee break. Perfect. And then rolls all the way down to the end. And it gets to the <laughs> end and it says end of the work day. What the hell was that? You know, and it's just. Oh, man, I, I feel that on so many levels every day at work because it's just like, like, yeah. But, you know, the whole reason I brought it up was because when Will Ferrell did Saturday Night Live, yep, he was Alex Trebek. Right. And Alex Trebek had some of the fucking greatest people there. You know, um, when I think it was Jimmy Fallon did French Stewart. That's right. I remember it was, that. It was unbelievable. Yeah. You know, and then... That was um, really funny. You had Sean Connery in there. Yeah. What was his name? I can't think. Daryl Hammond. That's yes. right. He did a uh, pretty spot on fucking funny ass. It was unbelievable. It was uncanny. And I don't remember who the third person was in the specific episode I'm remembering. But the fourth person uh-huh. was Norm MacDonald, who showed up as Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. And he chimed in, Burt Reynolds, wait, what are you doing here? I was here the whole time. <laughs> uh, no, you weren't. Yes, I was. <laughs> and that was like 90-something. That was yes. like almost 2000s, and he's yes. doing 1974 Burt Reynolds. Yes. That is, which was, who which else was fan- would do that? Which was fantastic, because I remember, you know, the tribute one that everybody paid to was when he did the episode where he changed his name to Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. And yeah. he chimed in and says, Burt Reynolds, that's not my name. <laughs> that's not my name. Uh, yes, it is. N- no, it's no, not. not. Read it. Read it. <laughs> you know, Turd Ferguson. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> you chimed in. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yes, you did. <laughs> Must have been you. <laughs> you know, and you're just like, yeah, that's just your opinion. Oh, man. Just, just every aspect of it was just, and, and he nailed it. When you think of who Burt Reynolds was in all those movies that, you know, we had to watch the movies because we weren't around then. That's true. You know, you, you saw every aspect of that, that he, he had it done perfectly. He did a couple of really good ones. He did uh, Letterman, always did him really good. Oh, yep. God, there was another one he did really good. Um, but And the Twilight Zone guy, he always nailed. Um, yeah, we could go on and on and yeah. on for days. So, yeah. Oh, you know. Our uh, girls the, are dying. The, the, the one that I always think about is, what's that? It's giant hat. It's funny. It's giant hat. It's funny. No, no, it's not. Sure it is. It's giant hat. It's funny. Isn't that crazy that all of those guys, except French, uh, except French Stewart, they're dead now? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember who uh, who the third one was in I that episode. Either. I don't either. I He's got I gotta look. It up. Oh, it was Tom Hanks, wasn't it? it was that's Tom right. Hanks, it was Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. as Tom Hanks because yeah. he got caught in, in the pickle jar. in the pickle jar and then the dry cleaner bag. I wanted a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> but, so yeah. But, I mean, all of that, you know, uh, Norm MacDonald, obviously, you know, R.I.P. in peace. In peace. You yeah. know, uh, we definitely are going to miss everything that you add to the world of comedy as we lose more of our heroes. An important person in my childhood, no doubt, made me the man, the half a man I am today. I see what you did there. Thank you. I'll be here all week. All right. So, Howard, it's that time. Let's roll back around. Your beer looked empty. I saw you kick it back. What'd you think of it? I like sour beers. Uh, the the Amrude, the Wild Mind. Um, yeah, it's good. It's your standard sour beer. Yeah, sour beer is always cheating. It's always kind of going to be good because I like it sour. Yeah. So 4.0 for me, pretty easy 4.0. But it's not like over the top, you know, cookie cutter sour it actually has a little bit of flavor to it and uh yeah it's good yeah i would i'd agree with you there i'd throw it right there around 4.0 um they're sour beers yep. if you gave me 12 sour beers and stacked them side by side i could probably tell you the difference between la roja and the rest of them yeah yeah that's you probably know? true 
This one's okay because it's like got a little barrel age to it, mm -hmm. just like the other ones. I don't really get a whole lot of mint, but I can't imagine. I w I've been looking at that rack more and more lately, that fancy beer rack in Woodman's. God, some of that beer's been sitting there for a very long time. I can't imagine. You're, you're writing your name in the dust on yeah, the bottles? a couple of them, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's, in fact, very good, but sour beard out and looking for something different which leads me i kind of want to know what you think about that one that you got um this one i i really like um you know i'm a big ale fan the black ales um especially when i discovered what uh, what was it we heavy yeah. that icelandic black ale the scotch ale you know the 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 realm of ales is intriguing to me you know everybody does an ipa Okay, yeah. everybody's doing a sour now. Yep. But how do you do your ales? Yep. You know, um, we we've had a few of them. You know, you think of it a a pilsner, a lager. You know, those are there's very few ingredients. You can't change much to them. Right. But how do you still make them different? You yeah. Know, to me, that's what's intriguing by them. I'm the same thing with ales. Now you have some variants of them. You have the white ales, the black ales, the wild ales. You know, so you can get all over the place with that, you know, but, but I've really been into these black ales, you know, which is interesting, you know, because it, it you know, they roast the barley usually yep, right for it. Yes, exactly. Um, and how you roast the barley really changes the way that they're made. And what barley you use and on and on and on. And my goodness, that sounds like our next podcast. You know, there. so I mean, just, just. Just all of it, but uh, I'd put this at a 4.5. Wow. If I had a case of these, I would be drinking them all day. I think I'd put it right up there, too, yeah. That's you know, really and, and that's, that's in my opinion, that's that that's a beer that I can drink on a regular basis. That's, that's good. You know, so, I mean, for anybody there, if you're up in the UP, uh, they have phenomenal beer. Every, every beer that I've had up there, from up there, you know, um... I can't even think what it was that the okay. wild the wild assassin or whatever it was that oh, one was excellent. The, um, yeah, I can't think of what it you was know. Called. But but Upper Hand is one of the breweries up there that they're they're killing it. Yeah. They're just absolutely killing it. You're doing a phenomenal job. I wish that you guys were pushing it out more. We will keep coming up there to get your beer. I, yeah, absolutely. You we know, might, we might take a tour. Yeah, we're gonna stop at every bar on the right hand side of the road on the way up there yeah yeah perfect so all right any final thoughts howard that should do it all right i thought you were gonna say it takes a pretty big dog to weigh a ton oh it does do that yes sir so on behalf of everybody here we want to thank you for dealing with us today hope you enjoyed your time tell us what you want us to drink we're looking for beer we like beer buy us beer you want to come talk on the show come talk on the show with us drink beer with us tell us what we're drinking wrong yeah. You know, because we would love to hear that. So, questions, comments, concerns, queries, quagmires, all of them. All of them. So, thank you for listening to us. This has been Max and Howard Drink Beer. I am still Max. And I am Howard. Howard, cheers. cheers. Drinking beer with Max and Howard.